Afternoon everyone, welcome back to the uh, Partridge Exterior Cleaning YouTube channel. Hope everyone's well and having a good day and working hard or uh, relaxing. Um, yeah, a bit of a different day today, um, bit, been a bit of a slow week to be honest, did some pressure washing at the start of the week, um, but now we're getting towards the end of the month, well we're at the end of the month, actually no, start of the new month, I'm at my partner's uh, grandma's house today, uh, so just here, tied up the gutter in because she had an awful leak, um, it completely flooded the uh, utility thing that I'm standing on right now, um, yeah there was a really bad downpour in England, um, completely flooded it, so yeah as you can see, uh, one of the culprits may be the gutter in now. I can probably safely say that this guttering up here um, has probably never been cleaned um, and we think that it overflowed down there and leaked all in here so I'm going to sort that out today um, with the trusty gut sucker junior over here. But apart from that just a few windows so I'll get some uh, footage of me cleaning windows which is rare these days um, but that'll be a bit of fun. Another guttering job to do as well so yeah just going to be a sort of slow day. Um, I went to quote up, it's already one o'clock by the way, yeah I went to quote up a really large secondary school and primary school in one I think actually um, for a huge gutter clear out and potentially some more jobs there as well so um, hopefully I can video that in the future. I might put a few pictures in of the job I've got to do, it's absolutely gigantic so I've got to send a quote off for that today um, or whenever I can. I'm looking forward to that, that would be a wicked job if I can secure that quote uh, but I'll set you up and I'll get cleaning this gutter in and then we'll uh, crack on with the windows. Right, then, cool. So, hard side done. Um, yeah, some big pieces of uh, mortar and stone there causing some issues. Uh, so, yeah, down I go now. Um, I've got to try and get this down there on these ladders so then I can uh, carry on. It was hard enough to get it up. So, uh, yeah, have fun watching me struggle to try and get this thing down. blocked up there. Yeah, yeah I think that might have been the problem. Alright folks, hope you can see alright, the uh, guttering's all done, all nice and clean. Uh, I'm using something different today, I've got the uh, liquidator channel on um, from Mormon and the accelerator handle or whatever the hell it's called, I didn't like it before um, but I put one of these rubbers on it instead of the cut ones um, and I've been kind of enjoying it actually so yeah this might be my new go-to, um, it just seems to perform better than the ones with the cut edges. But I don't use it how it's meant to be used anyway, it's meant to be used like a proper precision squeegee with no detailing but I don't bother, I always detail so speaking of, look at these gutters man, I can't believe they're like this, I need to get them done. Hopefully this GoPro's in the right position, be a bit annoying if it's not. I mean what is that? 
Right, I don't know if you can see that on camera, but you see that divot there? That means I'm gonna have to use more pressure now. This is using this in this bucket and belt. Uh, it just bends it, it is so frustrating. I'll go through rubbers like, like a knife through butter, it's ridiculous. So now I'm gonna have to press really hard to try and make it not. Oh, that is horrible. Ay, ay, ay. Terrible line in it from this bucket on a belt. I mean, it's why they sell they sell sets for a reason, don't they? So they sell the ninja set. So this is meant this is a ninja bucket on a belt. So this is meant to be used with a ninja squeegee. Um, but I'm using Mormon tools in a ninja bucket. Facelift rubber. It's like what the hell is that? Oh, there it is. Helicopter. So yeah, it's not always uh, satisfying pressure washing. Sometimes it's boring old window cleaning. Um, speaking of, I think I'm actually quitting uh, window cleaning very soon. Um, I'll still come and do these ones. I mean, these are about 45 minutes to an hour from my house, but um, you know, it's family and things like that. So I'll carry on doing these. Uh, but that's probably gonna be about it. I think the only windows I'm gonna clean now are going to be people on my uh, existing customers for uh, pressure washing after I've done a roof clean, things like that. Because I'm just bored of it, to be honest with you. I'm really bored of it. See, that's still marked. Wow, that's so annoying. Hello, you. <laughs> Can everyone look into the camera? Say hello. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have to clean those in a minute. Hey, if you don't know, this is my daughter. This is Aurora. Oh, give us a big kiss. This is her cousin, Isabella. Aw. Can you all say hello? Everyone say hello. <laughs> <laughs> Get off, you're making a mess. <laughs> you're all making a mess. It's a good job I'm gonna do them in a minute, isn't it? Oh gosh, I've gotta change the squeegee. Time for the ninja. There she is. Boom! Can I have a big kiss? Mwah. <laughs> she's gonna watch that when she's older and be so embarrassed. There we go, that's better. So when I say I'm quitting windows, um, it's not forever. Uh, it's just because I'm so busy with the other stuff at the moment. Um, I just end up letting everyone down. Um, I'm in these, I think this has been two months since I've done this house. It's meant to be done every month. Um, some of my round where I live, it's all on the same estate that I live on. Uh, I haven't been there for like two months to get them done and they, they're literally on my estate. That's how busy I've been. Um, and also it's a bit of a lack of motivation, I won't lie to you, I'm just a bit bored of it. So it's a bit harder to uh, to get up in the morning um, and go and do a full day of windows for me than it is to go and pressure wash a school or, um, you know, do a little free clean for a little old lady or something. So that's the, the pickle I'm in, so I'm thinking for now. Uh, sell off my work, 
that I've got off the windows. Um, and then probably next year, uh, restart a business, the window cleaning business um, under a different name. So my company now is Partridge Exterior Cleaning. Um, so I'm thinking of restarting it to, well, starting a new business um, back to Partridge Window Cleaning. And then I can hire people under that business and it won't correlate with my current one um, that I focus on with the roofs because the problem I get is I start advertising and then I get a thousand phone calls about window cleaning instead of about roof cleaning or pressure washing. So it's a bit like, oh, what's it going to be this time scenario when I pick up the phone, you know? Oh, so I think that's my plan. I'll see how it goes though. And then when I restart the window cleaning business, I'm going to go straight into having a few employees. Well, not straight into a few, straight into one employee um, that I'll hire full-time, part-time, whatever they need. Um, and they'll help build the round as well as work as well. So they'll be paid to go out canvassing and build more customers and all that sort of stuff. Here's a risky one, don't do this folks. So yeah, I just thought this uh, be a bit of a vlog style video. Um, nothing too serious. Just having a little chat about what I'm thinking about, what I want for the business, a bit about the YouTube channel, I'll talk about that in a minute. So yeah, nothing crazy, as I said, a bit of a slow week to be honest, so um, no crazy videos to put out to, uh, to wow people and try and uh, go viral, it's just one of them things. Every now and again, there's gonna be a couple of weeks where I'm caught up to most of my work, so there's not really too much to film because I generally try to work quite relaxed. Um, I don't like to rush around and try and do a million jobs all the time. One job a day sort of keeps me happy, um, or even sort of four days a week sort of work. So I've actually been working more recently um, purely for videos for the channel. Because I enjoy that so much, you know, it's like I find myself sort of getting up earlier and coming home later just to make sure I can get a good video done, you know, so. But yeah, that weekly vlog that I did uh, where my dad helped out, um, was it last week? I think it was last week, wasn't it? Um, that basically, we did so much work in that video um, that I'm actually, I'm still a little bit behind, but I've caught up on all of the severe backlog and the rest of the jobs that I've got are sort of not too far behind. Um, you know, I'm doing a roof tomorrow. Uh, I've got a couple of roofs to do next week. There's a few little, a lot of jobs around that are sort of doing my head in trying to get to, sort of waiting for customers to reply with the date and things like that, which does get quite frustrating. And also I'm a, I can't really com complain about it because I'm like the worst timekeeper. My organization skills are probably one of the worst ever for uh, running a business, to be honest with you get this door done while I'm out. I literally forget, I forget to even write down that I've completed customers. I forget to write down customers that have asked for a quote. I forget to send off my quotes. That's one of the main things. I could be all really excited and be like, oh, why haven't I heard back off that job yet? Oh God, look how bad that is. Um, and I'll tell you why I haven't heard back. Because I never sent off the bloody quote. So yeah, I'm trying to get better. I need to employ a full-time admin staff, I think. That would be good. Literally just, uh, that would run my life for me. That, that's basically what I need. So I can just wake up in the morning and get straight, roll out of bed, get to work. Film a video if the job's interesting enough. And then, uh, yeah, get home. So that would be ideal for me, but will it happen? Never. This is why we need AI, ladies and gentlemen, because I could have a little robot at home that'll do all that for me. So if anyone's still here listening to me rumble on, let's talk uh, the YouTube channel. So we just hit over 32,000 of you um, that subscribed. Now I know the vast majority of that uh, is for the pressure washing. I know you all love the pressure washing. Um, it is turning into my main service, to be honest with you. I think roofs are still ahead a little bit, but I'm heavily advertising the, the pressure washing now. 
Um, it's so enjoyable, it's so much fun, so uh, I do love doing it and uh, it's a lot easier on the body than the roof cleaning is. So I will be doing more of that, so expect a lot more videos to come from that. Um, but yeah, mainly 32, 32, is it 32 or 31? 32 I think. 32,000 people, man. That's honestly incredible. I mean, it's, uh, I know there's probably about four main videos that sort of brought most of you here. Um, they're all starting to slow down a bit now, so I do expect the growth of the channel to um, not carry on the way it was going. Because I mean, at one point there was like a thousand people coming over a day, uh, which is insane. I was like thinking, is this, this has got to end. So I don't want to get too used to it. But um, yeah, I was really blown away by that. It's like ca catapulted me up to a, to a really good spot. Um, in terms of exterior cleaners in the UK anyway, I'm, I'm pretty much number one or number two, I think. Blown away. I mean, I was expecting after the first year maybe to get a thousand, so. And it hasn't even been a year yet and I'm on bloody 32. Thank you very, very much, everyone. It's truly awesome. Right, I'm uh, just gonna head inside to this house now, so I'm not gonna film that. Um, privacy and everything so I'll join you up on some of the next houses that I'm doing and, uh, and have a chat with you there nice one right folks on to the next house it's only next door so I've got three houses in a row here um, I've just put this to super wide view so hopefully uh, you can see a bit better and it doesn't mess up the quality apparently it's better quality but we'll see how it looks on the rendering so yeah just finished uh, barrels next door inside and out did the gutter in and the windows uh, she always tries to pay me like, uh, for, for the jobs that I do, but I look at her as if she was my own man, so I really hate charging, but she starts starts arguing with me if I don't take any money. So we had a we had an argument that must have lasted about two weeks because I cleaned the driveway um, a fair few months ago now. And um, I didn't want to charge her for it because I was, it was one of my last runs with my old pressure washer anyway. So I was just like, oh, I'll just give it its last, uh, its last run. And uh, yeah, before I got the new one. And she, oh, she was freaking out. She was like, <laughs> arguing with me to pay. And I was like, I don't want your money. I don't want to charge her. But she wouldn't take no for an answer. And eventually she did pay, but I really, really, really didn't want to take it. But oh, yeah, it's, I always think it always baffles me. How people can uh, just sort of not help people out that are uh, on a pension or you know, even their own family sometimes it could be their their nan or granddad or uh, even great nan and granddad in some aspects, and they don't even bother with them. There's like kids that barely know their own great grandparents, and they only live down the road, you know, or even their own nan and granddad. It's absolute mad. I mean, mine have been mine have been gone for God, so I think it's over ten years now. Yeah, it's definitely over ten years. Um, all of mine. And I'd, I'd give all of this up to have them back for a bit of time and even just to go around and do the guttering for them, you know, and just do things like that, it'd be awesome. But I just, it baffles me how some people don't bother. It really does. I think that's a dying art now is um, a respect for the older generation. Not gonna be here forever, you know, so respect them, help them out while they are, but I don't know, a lot of people don't see that this way. I think kids are raised a bit a bit disrespectful. Um, there's a lot of people who I actually know personally who don't give don't give a rat's ass about helping the family out or caring for the vulnerable members of their family. Madness. Well, I feel like I've spent all video so far whinging or uh, being a bit monotone. But to be honest with you, I mean, that's just me in general that I've kind of got this GoPro strapped on my head um, and I'm just thinking about things I would normally th think about when I'm working because I work on my own every day anyway so I'm just thinking about what I'd normally think about but just saying it out loud so yeah sorry if it's a bit uh, down tempo for a video um, but I'm not one of the most upbeat people anyway I think I've said it before but um, I'm not the sort of person who's gonna you know intro the video like Hey guys, let's smash a thousand likes. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Because that's just not really me as a person, you know? Like, hey, Partridge Army, let's smash the thousand likes. I get 500 comments. I, I, I couldn't, I literally couldn't imagine it. Um, I'm not that uh, energetic, really, um, as a person. I'm sort of uh, quite monotone, but 
I try and make things entertaining if I can. It's why it's sometimes it's easy for me to focus solely on a video for one job because I can just sort of get the camera angles going crazy, uh, put some chilling music behind it, and uh, yeah, let the work and the the editing do the talking for me. But I think every now and again, it's nice to have a little real video, isn't it? I don't mind doing my little top 10 list videos, but that's something I was gonna say, actually. If anyone wants to see anything particular on this channel, um, obviously I'll still carry on with the single job videos, the pressure washing, you know, because I do a lot of pressure washing, but I don't video every job, because not every job is like a, you know, insanely weedy, you know, disgusting driveway that, you know, has not been done for 20 years. So, so yeah, I'm trying to focus on, oh, like quality, over quantity, over quantity, um, and make sure that the jobs are worth watching if I'm gonna do them, you know, and video them. So but yeah, if there's anything specific anyone wants, I mean, I could even do some how to's, you know, like how to start a pressure washing business, how to actually start to finish pressure washer driveway, or um, I've, done, I've done a roof cleaning one already, um, but I couldn't do an updated one. Um, I could do, go through my whole gear setup for everything. You know, whatever you guys want to see, just give me a show and I'll, I'll fire it out. I think the problem with me is I'm a bit too uh, too critical of myself, so. You know, there's been numerous videos I've done now that I've just scrapped. Yeah, I've spent all day recording it. I get halfway through editing it on the night. I'm like, nah, crap. So I'll get rid of it. And I'm like, hmm, should I have done that? But, but yeah, I'm like my own worst enemy when it comes to things like that. I was talking to Ben from Flawless Cleaning last night, actually, about uh, the whole YouTube thing. And even like the titles, and it's like, if it was me, I'd just like to put pressure washing one, pressure washing two, you know, day at work, episode 39, do you know what I mean? But you can't, because YouTube doesn't really pick it up. And it's, you know, you need a bit of like, wow, this is insane, insane transformation sort of stuff. And it, it is, you know, it's, it's no BS, it's not a lie, because sometimes it is like an incredible transformation. Um, so you put it in the title, obviously, but yeah, it's, I don't want to be a clickbait channel, so I'm really trying not to be, um, but at the end of the day, you still got to try and get your videos noticed, so here's a tip for you window cleaners out there as well, if you don't already do this, if you see a glass table in the garden, give it a clean, it's fun to do anyway, so that was, was not the most satisfying one I've done. Right, I am sweating. It is so humid today, folks. Um, I'll probably won't video the next job. Um, it's an elderly couple. I, you know, I really like them. They're great. Um, but he likes to have chat, so I don't want to be recording his uh, private conversation with me. Um, so next up, I'll probably see you a gutter and job. Uh, should be fairly quick and straightforward. Uh, this is for a 93-year-old lady, um, which is another family friend as well, um, and she's lovely, bless her. And there's a possibility, actually, that her and my nan um, went to the same dancing school when they were kids. Um, she seems to think so anyway, which is crazy because uh, we didn't know each other at all. So yeah, uh, it was a really weird one. I found that out um, about a month or so ago now. I was blown away. So yeah, I'll uh, see you at the next job.